What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be talking about batteries and more specifically, lithium batteries. So stay tuned. So the lithium batteries we're talking about today are the Uniwix lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, they're a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So Uniwix reached out to us uh, to see if we would give these batteries a test run in our fifth wheel. They saw some of our other solar videos and battery videos and I reached out based on those. So as I've talked about in our previous videos, I've been hesitant to go to lithium batteries uh, for a couple of reasons, mostly because I'm just not super familiar with them and also because uh, of the price, they are pretty expensive. Uh, the other reason though is I've been very, very happy with the North Star AGMs, so it would take quite a bit for me to go away from those. Um, we are gonna do some runtime tests with the North Stars and the uh, Uniwix 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Uh, the North Stars I currently have are 105 amp hour Group 31 North Stars. They performed outstanding. They are about three years old, two and a half to three years old. So I've had no issues out of them, extremely happy. So I'm really curious to see how these uh, Uniwix lithiums are gonna hold up. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, get these installed. I've already done a runtime test with the North Stars. I'm gonna show you the results of that test here shortly. And we're gonna get these installed and uh, then we're gonna show you the charger that we're using. Uh, we've already got our Victron charger that I've been using on my North Star AGMs. It has a lithium setting, so that works out perfect. So we're gonna get these batteries hooked up. We are gonna check the voltage on them, see how the uh, voltage is right out of the box. We just took these out of the box today. Uh, get them all charged up on the Victron lithium charger. And then uh, we're gonna do a runtime test, a real world runtime test and see how long these things are gonna last uh, running our fifth wheel. All right, first let's check the voltage right out of the box and see where we're at. All right, these batteries, this one is at 13.2. Both at 13.21 volts. So 13.2 volts on lithium batteries it's about a 70% charge, so we're going to get these installed. We'll use the Victron. We'll get them boosted up before we do our runtime test. So the jumpers I'm going to use to hook these batteries together, um, as you can see, the battery bank inside our fifth wheel currently is a pair of North Star Group 31 AGMs, and I have them wired parallel. So I have the negatives hooked together, the positives hooked together, and the jumpers that I am using are just like these. So you can wire your batteries together. And then you'll have a stud coming out to where you may hook, up, hook up all your connections uh, on this stud so that you're not trying to cram a bunch of wires on one, uh, on one battery post. So these should work out really well. Uh, I've already kind of test fitted them on top of the Uniwix batteries and uh, they, fit, they fit perfect. Um, should work out just, just the way my North Stars are in there. Uh, these should go in exactly the same way. Dimension wise, uh, the Uniwix are a little bit narrower, so I may have to move my move my brackets a little bit uh, so that they fit nice and snug in there, but uh, as far as fitment goes, they're gonna go right back in place with no issues. And uh, these are two watt jumpers, so uh, they're gonna carry, you know, they're gonna carry that current just fine. And uh, I've been really happy with this setup. So another nice thing about using this style jumper is if you have to replace a battery, you can just unbolt your jumper and you don't have to take all your connections loose. So I can leave my connections, take the jumper loose, pick it up, move the batteries, put new batteries in, hook the jumpers back, and you're not messing with all your, all your main uh, battery connections. So we just lift that one off, lift that one off, and that doesn't get much easier than that. Oh my goodness. Oh. So the weight savings is going to be incredible for us. These North Stars are 78 pounds a piece, so they're solid. Uh. 
right now, we'll just pick these bad boys up and just pop them right in place. No big deal. Doesn't get much easier than that. So these batteries are gonna come with all your hardware you need. Uh, it's gonna come with your bolts for the battery posts. put these caps back over the top keep everything nice and safe so nothing falls in there and just like that we have 200 amp hours of lithium batteries all right so we've done two tests with uh, my old North Star batteries that were three years old did a run test on those and then compared that to a run test that we did with uh, the new Uniwix Defender X100 lithium batteries. Um, I'll tell you right now, very impressed with the Uniwix lithium. I wanted to use them in a real world application. So the way I tested these batteries, um, I got them all installed. I shut our battery charger off so there was nothing charging the batteries. And then we ran all the accessories in the RV that run on 12 volt, which is basically all the lights, um, the, some of the USB outlets. We ran all that on the batteries. Uh, I did the first test with my North Star, um, the NSB AGM 31s, which are now the Odyssey uh, PC 2150s. That test, uh, the results of that one, I started my test at seven o'clock in the morning. When I shut the charger down, uh, the batteries were at 12.99 volts, so they were 100% charged. There was a, I used our battery monitor so I could see how much draw we had on them. There was a four and a half to five amp draw uh, we're using run all the lights and then depending on whether or not our uh, refrigerator fan would run when that fan runs that adds another about amp and a half to two amps uh, while it's running so about four and a half to five five and a half amps kind of over the course of the day uh, by eight o'clock we were down to 12.65 volts by 12:45 in the afternoon we were down to 12.59 volts, which is about 80%, just over 80% uh, charged at that point. And then by the time we got to uh, 7.30 at night, which was about 12 and a half hours, we were down to 12.33 volts, which to be fair is still about a 70% charge on a regular, uh, on, a, on an AGM battery. The minimum voltage you want to get to on your AGMs is 12.05 volts. That's 50% state of charge. Once you get below that, uh, you can still run them below that. But at that point, you start really uh, diminishing the life of the battery and how long you're going to get out of them. Like I said, these batteries are three years old. So honestly, I think 12 and a half hours uh, and for the batteries to still be at a 70% state of charge after 12 and a half hours was excellent. I was really happy with it. And I wasn't sure if these lithiums were going to be able to uh, do much better than that. So we changed out. Uh, we got our Uniwix lithiums put in and then ran the exact same test. Um, we tried to leave more lights on. So we tried to put a little, a little extra work on those batteries uh, throughout the day. We started our lithium test, same process. Uh, after I installed them, I made sure they were 100% charged. I shut the charger down um, the next morning. At 6.40 a.m. is when we started this test. Uh, the average draw was four and a half to six amps throughout the day. They were at 13.45 volts when I shut the charger down. By eight o'clock in the morning, we were down to 13.24 volts, which is 80, about 85% charge. Um, so it did drop down pretty quick from right at almost 100% down to 85%. Uh, so that I was, at that point, I was looking a little concerned. Um, I thought maybe these things were going to kind of fall on their face as the day went on. They definitely did not. By 10.15, they were at 13.23 volts, and they stayed at 13.23 volts all the way until uh, when I checked them again at 12.30, still 13.23 volts. We had a couple errands to run, so we turned some of the lights out. We left. When we got back at 3.30, the batteries had actually 
by turning the lights out, the batteries actually rebounded and came up to 13.25 volts. So when we shut some of the load off, um, they actually rebounded and came back up, which I thought was pretty impressive. Um, so that was after nine hours. We're still at 13.25 volts, which is 85% charge, right where they were at when, when they initially dropped off uh, in the beginning. By 7.30 at night, they were at 13.22 volts. And then when I finally decided we were gonna be done with this test uh, at about 9, 9.15 at night, uh, which had been 15 and a half hours, the batteries were at 13.21 volts, which is just above a 70% state of charge. Um, very impressed with that. The difference between the way an AGM battery or a standard flooded uh, wet battery discharges versus these lithiums. As a regular lead acid battery discharges, so as your voltage starts to drop, your performance is gonna fall off faster and faster and faster. So once you get a standard AGM battery or a flooded wet battery to like a 70% state of charge, it's gonna fall off a lot faster. These lithiums didn't really do that at all. They kind of had that initial drop and then they leveled off and we got the same performance for 15 and a half hours. Um, I feel pretty confident these batteries would have probably ran overnight with no issue. Um, and just very, very happy with uh, the way they held up on, the, on that initial test. The weight difference between the AGM batteries that I had and the Uniwix uh, Defender X100 is pretty significant. Uh, my AGMs were 78 pounds a piece. The Uniwix are 26 pounds a piece. So, you know, um, I saved 100 pounds by replacing those AGMs with uh, these Uniwix batteries. I mentioned that the charger we use is the Victron Blue Smart 1225. It has a lithium ion setting, so it's going to do a fantastic job taking care of these batteries. Um, Victron is a leader in lithium battery chargers. Uh, it's very, very easy to set up. This battery, this battery charger did a great job, obviously, taking care of our North Star batteries for over three years um, for them to still be holding up as well as they did. Uh, by no means, I can't knock those batteries at all. They still had fantastic capacity, even at three years. And I attribute a lot of that to that Victron charger taking such good care of them. Super easy, you can go in the app on your, uh, in the Victron app, you can change it from AGM right over to lithium ion. It's very, very simple. Uh, and I think that uh, that Victron is gonna do a fantastic job taking care of these lithium batteries as well. So some of the built-in features that the Uniwix lithium battery has, it has over voltage protection, uh, it has under voltage protection, temperature protection built in. It also has automatic cell balancing, which is pretty important with lithium batteries so that everything stays even. Uh, all the battery cells stay even inside of those batteries. Um, just a, it seems like a really, a really top-notch battery, especially for the price. Compared to the batteries that I had, so the Odyssey Northstar PC2150, that battery, back when I got those initially for our RV, they were just over $300 a piece. That's not the case anymore. Those batteries are just over $500 a piece now, uh, which is very expensive. Fantastic battery, well worth it. However, Uniwix comes in pretty strong and very, very competitive at $499 uh, for the price of these, uh, the Defender X100, which, I mean, if you're just basing it on price, um, that it has been, like I said, a big, a big downside to the lithium batteries is the fact that they were just so much more expensive. It was hard to justify really spending that kind of money. But at the price that Uniwix is offering, they offer a 10-year warranty. Uh, you're looking at five to 10-year cycle life, depending on how you use the batteries. I mean, that's, that's kind of a no-brainer. If you're in the market for a real premium AGM, uh, you can look at the Uniwix battery and have something that's gonna be really, really competitive and based on the initial test anyway, give you a lot better performance. Uh, I am gonna be doing a follow-up review. I wanna run these batteries for a couple of months. Uh, we're gonna put them through the paces. We're gonna discharge them, recharge them. And in a few months, we're gonna do a follow-up and see how they're holding up at that point. So to be fair, I mean, I compared these Uniwix batteries. I feel like I did the, the closest apples to apples comparison that you could do as far as a lead acid battery goes and a lithium. Um, I 
I feel like comparing them to a to the highest in AGM that's out there on the market right now. I mean, it doesn't get uh, any better than the Odyssey North Star Pure Lead AGMs. Um, that's that's the the top of the top line when it comes to AGM batteries. So the fact that we compared those to the Uniwix Defender uh, X100 and it held up as well as it did. Um, I think that's I think that's a, a pretty good test and a, a testament to how well these batteries are going to work. Um, the price point that they're coming in at, uh, you're not going to get all the super duper features of the built-in Bluetooth in the batteries and all that. But if you're looking for a high quality lithium with a great warranty and a really good price as far as lithium batteries go, you definitely want to check out the Uniwix Defender X100. We're going to leave a link down in the description. Uh, if you want to check out more, you can check out Uniwix website. Um, these batteries are also available on Amazon. They're available straight from Uniwix. So if you're in the market for a battery upgrade, check out Uniwix. We appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you guys down the road.